This conference will now be recorded. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, ServiceNow Admin and Development. Today is Flow Designer Session 3, which is about triggering approvals. So let me share my screen. I have a small use case for you. I will share my screen now. All right. Hope you people can see my screen. This is the use case. When a new incident is created by some category, it should go for approval. So it should go for approval to the assignment group present in the incident. So anyone present within the assignment group can approve that incident. Once it is approved, it should create a new incident with same description. So this is a small use case to showcase the use of approvals in service not uh, flow design. OK, so let me jump to my instance right away. We know how to create a flow. Go here. I have created a favorite for that. Coming up. It is a bit slow. Yes. You already know how to create a new flow. Simply click here and flow. Give some meaningful name. Uh, let it be like PKJ incident approval and I'll click on submit. The first thing that we need to give, we need to specify what is the triggering condition. So click here. We know whenever a new incident is created, we have to send it for approval. So the triggering condition would be created incident. Select. Let us try to give a condition. Whenever the category is software, then and only then trigger it for approval. Let, me, let us make it like that. Choose field category. Is. Software, it can be anything and done. So this is our triggering condition, but what to do when the condition is satisfied? Trigger approval. So click on here, actions, action, ask for approval. Okay. Now, what is the record? The record. So from the data pill, I'll select the current record, which is current record all right approval field approval journal field approval history don't touch it let it be like that here approve when so if you remember when we work in workflows we have all these things for approval so these are all the items i'll select and even approves our use cases, even if there are 10 approvers, if any one of them approves, we are done. We are true. So if anyone approves in that case, just a minute. When anyone approves the current record, yeah, we have to select assignment group over here. Anyone approves 
from this assignment group okay then it is approved done simple ask for approval i'll repeat again it simply says for this current record these are the fields and it will be approved if anyone approves from this group that's it now i have to put an if condition a flow logic flow logic to check if it has been approved or not all right drag and drop a pill Checker record this one approval state is approved that means approval state is this step if its result is approved then what to do click on done if it is approved then add one more action under if we want to create a new incident action create a task incident inherits task right incident change problem everything create a task record give the table that is incident to tell the system what kind of task record it will be so it will be incident and how about the fields so add some fields like the caller it should be the current records caller field okay let's copy trigger record created incident record and caller do we have it yes how about the short description short description and current records short description c d e f g l m n o p q r s short description here we go what else do we require color short description i think this much should be enough okay i will click on done so now we are ready with our flow let's revisit it whenever incident is created and whenever the category is software okay ask for approval for approval to the current records assignment group okay cool and then check if this is approved or not if approval state means this is approved then what to do then create a new incident with this parameter this with this attributes color short description all right so now to make it live we will have to activate it let me save it first and activate unless we activate it it won't be live it's similar to workflow when we publish it it is live otherwise no flow activated successfully now let us do some testing i go to my instance incidents i'll create a new record okay incident create new record coming up all right caller anyone choose from here let it be alia and remember the category should be software only then 
it will detect the approval. So now let me give some short screen like 9th of January test set and approval. All right. And don't forget to give the assignment group, otherwise the system will get confused and it won't go for approval. Right, it be submill group. Uh, I know there are two people present in this group. So the approval should go to two people. Okay, fine. What is the incident number? 227. Let me see this. That is, I have submitted this. Scroll down to check if it triggered the approval or not. It takes some time. Let us refresh this. See, the group contains two people. Any one of them can approve this incident. Before approving it, I want to show you where the flow is go to executions let us see how did it execute this is the instance and yes not run it is waiting for approval until the people approve it it will not proceed cool now as i'm the admin i can simply approve it from here and approve cool now let us go back and see the execution again close it let us see and shows the condition evaluated to true because one of the person approved the incident and then create task is complete. What is there over here, create task? See, it shows the runtime value. This is 227, this is 228, okay, and then if I go to incident open, you will see 228. See, ours was this and it created a new incident. This is how it is. It copied the values. See, 9 gen test incident approval. How about making this as the child of 227? Can we do it? Yes, very much possible. First of all, go here. Check if it has got any child incident. Child incident, zero. Let us try to alter the flow. We will not alter the flow. We will make some modification in the field mapping so that it appears as a child incident. I will close this. I will close this. Before modifying, I'll have to deactivate it. Okay. Now, the step where we create the new incident, we will tell this step that the parent incident of this newly created incident should be taken from the parent current record. Cool, save it and then activate it let us see we will do some testing around it and activate 
Yes, now again, I'll go and create a new incident. Which is two to nine. The category should be software. Assignment group, let it be Swapnil group. And with these inputs, yeah, obviously short description, nine, 10, new incident. All right, test child. Cool. I'll submit it right away. It should create two third two three zero as a child of this incident. Let's see. Yeah, call it. Let it be Alia. And then I'll save it. It should go for approval first. Let us refresh the approval list. No designer is a bit slow. Sometimes it takes seconds to get the things that reflected. I'll approve this from here. Where did it go? Approve. And then incident is approved. Then what else? Did it create that new incident under this? No. Let us try to refresh. And yes, 230 has been created as a child of 229. So that's the power of service now flow designer. We didn't write any kind of script over here and we simply implemented approval and we took some action based on the approval. In real time scenario, you won't be creating approval for incidents because after all is for change but this was just to show you a simple example so that you can understand how approval works in flow designer all right friends so in the next session that is the fourth session i'm going to show you how to create your own actions in flow designer okay till then yeah have a nice day bye bye thank you